I'll show you how you can update your iPhone software faster. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Updating your iPhone can be quite a lengthy process sometimes, so I want to go over a few tricks you can try to go and speed it up. So the first thing I like to do is go and disable a feature on your iPhone called Auto Lock. And this is basically where your phone automatically locks and puts itself to sleep. And when it puts itself to sleep, sometimes it can go and disconnect from the internet and then it will reconnect and things like that. So I prefer just to keep my phone screen on the whole time. So to do this, you just need to go and open up your settings. And what you need to do is go down to display and brightness. So you need to go and scroll down and then tap on display and brightness. And then as you can see, scroll down and you'll see the setting for auto lock. Click there and what you want to do is make sure it's set to never. So this means your iPhone isn't going to automatically lock and you'll have to manually do it. Of course, you can go and change the setting after you've gone and finished the update process. Now that's done, you can now go back to the general page and go and tap on software update. And of course, you could go and let it start downloading and your iPhone is just going to keep its screen turned on. So if you're finding that the download is just taking you a really long time, what I firstly recommend doing is moving your phone closer to your Wi-Fi router. If you're on like the other side of your house or apartment from where your router is, then it's going to have a slower connection because it's more distance. So yeah, place your phone right next to your router if possible. Also, what another thing I recommend doing as well is if you've got multiple Wi-Fi networks, it's worth trying others because sometimes routers are going to have different type of networks like um, different um, bandwidth. So some have got 2.4 gigahertz and then a 5 gigahertz network. And sometimes the 5 gigahertz network is less radius and less distance, but faster when it's closer. So yeah, try making sure you're on your fastest Wi-Fi band. And also, if you've got Wi-Fi boosts around your house, try using those because then you might get a stronger signal. So that's the two, so two different things I recommend doing to try and speed up your internet. Of course, if you've just got a slow internet connection as well, maybe try updating your phone at work or at school uh, or just somewhere with a fast in internet connection so you can download the update quicker. When it comes to the install process, there's no way of speeding this up. You just have to be patient and let your iPhone install it. I guess older iPhones may take a bit longer if they've got more outdated hardware, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. And one big tip I really recommend doing is updating your iPhone overnight. So what you can do is set it downloading and then you can just go and place your iPhone, you know, um, up the screen down so it's not keeping you awake with the brightness. And yeah, let it download. Even if you've got a slow internet connection, overnight should be hopefully long enough to go and download the update, of course, depending on how slow or fast your internet connection is. 